I'm Gina Bianchini. I help companies take their business to the next level. So today I'm in South San Francisco meeting with Rebecca Jean Catering. The owner, Rebecca Jean, started the business four years ago and could have never imagined the level of success that she's achieved. I can't wait to meet her, share some recommendations, and see where she takes it from here. Rebecca Jean Catering is a full service catering company. I was a private chef and I kept receiving requests to do catering on the side. We've grown from one employee to about 40 employees today. We have two lines of business, one being daily dining. So we work with companies that are looking to do a health and wellness program that want to provide high quality food service options for their employees. We serve between 700 and 900 meals daily. We also do special events all around San Francisco and the extended Bay Area. You've built such an incredibly successful business so far. Give me a sense of how you've been growing over the last three years. Year one, it was literally me and one other person. It was just $125,000 in sales. Next year, we tripled that. The year after that, we quadrupled that. You can do the math there. So it's been a pretty tremendous leap from being a one, one person show. Help me understand the business today in terms of, let's say, profit margin and where you are targeting it to be. We've got two sides to the business. So we've got daily dining, which is Monday through Friday service that we provide for companies. And then we've got the event side, which can vary. We could have a, a thousand person event. We could have a 200 person event. What we're seeing now is about 14% profit margin. Where we're looking to target is about 20% profit margin in the restaurant industry. If you you can make 10 cents on the dollar, you're doing great. Tell me a little bit about daily dining. Our daily dining program is a Monday through Friday seasonal rotating menu, and we come and set up in offices that don't have a kitchen that want to provide high quality food service options for their employees. How many companies are you doing daily dining for today? Between eight to 12 per day is standard. That's fantastic. Where do you spend your time as the CEO and the entrepreneur in the business? A large portion of what I do when I'm here is try to build it to run without me. I've got six department heads that I interact with on an almost daily basis. I talk to key customers. I foster new relationships. As you think about this incredible opportunity that you have in front of you, what's the thing that keeps you up at night? You know, people. Like, my my industry is, is highly contingent upon the team members that I have assembled. I can build a system and say, listen, this system is flawless, but unless I've got the people that are using the system on board and trained and, and, and really buying into it, then we're gonna have challenges. So the people piece of this is a real challenge to the business. Absolutely. What's your end goal for the business? Personally, I really have an ambition to change the food system. The business is just one step of many in, in my lifetime time of leading a food movement that leads people to higher quality food and overall better access to cuisine that's really nourishing so people can live a better life. So Rebecca, I am so grateful to have the opportunity to come today. Would love to come back to you with some recommendations if you're open to it. I'm so excited to hear what you have to say. I love it when a plan comes together. I am so excited about what you've built and the hard work and dedication that has gone into it. So here's the plan. My first recommendation is to go really deep into daily dining. There's a lot of different ways to do that, but the one I was thinking about was really just starting by identifying the next 20 companies that can be those daily dining clients of yours and potentially even hire a specific salesperson to identify those companies and really turn that into the fullest potential opportunity that you have for that. I would love that so much. The last recommendation I have is to shift thinking about your team from feeling like they're empowered to actually being empowered by finding ways and systems that you can utilize and tap so that they are fully empowered and it is in practice, not just in words. That's actually been something we've been working on for the last couple of months, is how to encapsulate my belief system and then really have the management team adopt it, make it their own, and then disseminate it amongst their team. And then the team talking out to their world. Yes. Because yes. one of the things that's really challenging in a hyper growth business like yours is you got here because it was your vision and it was such a strong vision and it doesn't go to the next level 
without it becoming the team's vision. Absolutely. You are sitting at an amazing moment in your business. Thank you. You are so clearly passionate and authentic in what your beliefs are and the values that you're bringing to Rebecca Jean Catering. How do you actually make that talk even bigger? You're elevating that next generation of passionate food advocates in the value system that you are now elevating yourself to really take on a larger and larger role. But I think you're in a unique position to be able to do such. Thank you. My big aha moment in speaking to Gina really came when we talked about the transition between feeling empowered and being empowered. Wow, what a, what a huge difference, just even to say it out loud. This is gonna have tremendous impact on my team's ability to step into this, this empowerment, really carry the company, and enable me to continue to carry the values of Rebecca Jean Catering out into the world. That was fun, but it is not over until we hear what you guys think about the advice that we shared today. Remember to like and share this video and click here to check out more inspiration for businesses at American Express Open Forum.